Here in this video we will showcase the deadliest interceptors and air superiority fighters as well as void crafts of the different races in Warhammer 40k. We will have our own preferred rankings, which might be biased, I might admit, but you could put down your own list in the comments below. So let's get into it. At number 15 we have the Darker Jet. Commonly refitted Imperial fighter aircraft, the Darker Jet is an AWP variant used for air-to-air -air and ground attack missions. It is powered by a single massive jet engine and its pilots prefer to have as many guns as possible believing in quantity over quality, orcs, what can you say. The engine is simple but powerful providing high levels of thrust but lacks maneuverability. But it has angled thrust vectoring nozzles to change direction quickly which makes it seem out of control. It usually is equipped with twin link super shooters that are inaccurate as well as rockets and wing mounted bombs. Number 14 The Faustus the fighter was described as being 80 paces or 60 meters long. The Faustus interceptors are warplanes that are utilized by the Imperial fleets for long-range patrol duties. Their primary function is to detect potential threats before they can get too close to the main fleet. They come equipped with psychic astropaths who can send and receive messages over long distances securely. These interceptors are known for their high speed and strength and can be outfitted with various types of weaponry like turreted ballistic cannons and forward locked plasma gun arrays. Number 13 The Helldrake The Helldrake is a deadly daemon engine of chaos that descends from the sky to attack enemy aircraft. They are part of the Chaos Space Marine Traitor Legions and attach themselves to Chaos warships until they reach a target planet's low orbit. The Helldrakes then uses two set of claws to tear down into enemy aircraft and have also Hades or cannons in its mouth for long range attacks. The creature is known for its vicious attacks and ability to scythe down masses of enemies, troops and aircrafts. Its size and speed is yet unspecified but they are pretty fast. Number 12 The Thunderbolt This is a heavy fighter design with its main function for air superiority to gain control of the air over a battlefield. However, it is also versatile enough and can serve as an escort fighter, a fighter bomber, an attack aircraft, a night fighter and many more other essential necessities. It is equipped with a quad nose mounted auto cannon for dog fighting and twin link last cannons for ground attack. It can carry bombs, hell strike missiles, and air to air missiles on four pylons mounted under each wings. Its top speed is 2200 km per hour and has an atmosphere range of 12,000 km with a service ceiling of 39 km high. Number 11 The Lightning This is a smaller Imperial Navy air superiority and ground attack aircraft. It is smaller and more maneuverable than the Thunderbolt fighter, allowing it to be quickly deployed during enemy attacks. It can take off and land vertically as well. The Lightning can also operate in space and re-enter the atmosphere. It has a top speed of 2400 km per hour and a range of 8000 km as well as service ceilings of under 36 km. It is armed with a single ventral mounted long barrel auto cannon, two wing mounted last cannons and four wing mounted Hellstrike missiles. Number 10 The Barracuda This is a Tau fighter. It is slower than the Thunderbolt or even the Lightning fighter, but its sophisticated electronic systems compensate for its lack of maneuverability or speed. The Barracuda's primary role is an air-to-air -air combat interceptor excelling at intercepting enemies' aircrafts, attacking Tau ground forces and providing air support for Tau ground forces. The Barracuda is armed with a nose-mounted iron cannon for dogfights, backed up by two burst cannons in the wings for anti-infantry use. For ground attacks, it has wing-mounted missile pods and can carry up to four Seeker missiles. Number 9 The Stormhawk The Stormhawk Interceptors is an air superiority fighter and gunship used by the Adeptus Astartes and can fly both in the void and in atmospheric conditions. It's heavily armed with an underslung last talon as its primary weapon, twin link assault cannons and twin link heavy bolters. It can also be outfitted with different types of missile launchers and an Icarus Storm Cannon. Stormhawk's pilots use the vehemence attack pattern and deploy Golden Infernum Halo launchers to show that the skies belong to the Emperor. Number 8 The Nephilim The Nephilim jet fighter is an air superiority and also an attack aircraft exclusively used by the Dark Angels and their unforgiven successor chapters. It serves as an atmospheric interceptor to protect ground forces from aerial attacks. Piloted by skilled members of the Raven Wing, these sleek air-to-air -air interceptors are heavily armed with a twin link heavy bolter and a twin link last cannon and six black sword missiles. They are mainly deployed from the rock, 
or strike cruisers and are designed to establish air superiority over the battlefield. Number 7. The Hellblade This is a chaos interceptor and air superiority fighter that combines advanced technology and demonic forces from the warp. Created by the Dark Mechanicum, it is held aloft by thrust vectoring engines making it incredibly fast and agile. This slim double-bladed shape allows the Hellblade to achieve air superiority and clear the way for ground assaults. The Hellblade is lightly armed with quad autocannons mounted on the center of its fuselage, making it unsuitable for any role other than fast attack and interception. It is flown by a hard-wired chaos-controlled servitor. Number 6. The Fury The Fury Interceptor is the primary starfighter of the Imperial Navy used for void combat also in various roles including void superiority as well as for atmospheric combat. It is heavily armed with high explosive anti-starship missiles and forward firing last cannons and has various known weapon loadouts and patterns. Some variants have a nose mounted turret ball armed with either last cannons or multi-lasers. And the total number of fury patterns remains unknown uh, since it's so freaking deadly and reliable. Number 5. The Razor Wing the Razor Wing is a supersonic fly used by the Dark Elder equipped with various missile types including monocytes, necrotoxins and shatterfields. It has twin link splinter rifles, two dark lancers and four missile pylons. Razor Wing pilots are highly skilled in high-speed combat and often come from the elite Reaver jet bike ranks. It is similar in design to the Ninth Wing fighter of the Craftworld Eldar. It is also pretty deadly but the lack of discipline from the Dark Elder pilots puts them one spot below the Eldari Ninth Wing. Number 4. The Nightwing The Eldar's Nightwing fighter craft is unparalleled in speed, maneuverability, firepower and energy field protection. It excels at intercepting and destroying enemy aircraft. Equipped with twin link shuriken cannons and bright lancers, it also can take out tanks. Imperial Navy fighters often suffer heavy losses when facing Nightwings. It does not rely on heavy armor for protection, instead it uses its speed and agility to evade enemy attacks. It is also equipped with an advanced system that creates a hollow field making it difficult for enemies to detect and target them. Number 3. The Xiphon the Xiphon Interceptor is a fighter aircraft that was once used widely by the Space Marine Legions during the Great Crusade and has since been limited due to its shortages. It is heavily armed and armored, with twin link last cannons on the fuselage and a ventral mounted Xiphon rotary missile launcher. The aircraft's speed, agility and firepower make it a deadly opponent. It comes with ceramide plating, chaff launchers and protective armor. Its firepower combined with an Astartes pilot and the interceptor's speed and agility makes it an incredibly deadly fighter to any other void crafts or aircrafts available out there. Number 2. The Doom Sight The Doom Sight is a Necron aircraft that can operate in space, in the void and also in planetary atmospheres serving as an interceptor, a starship assault and fighter bomber. It acts independently of the main Necron force and inflicts terror and destruction upon enemies, targeting both infantry and vehicles as well as other aircrafts. With a Necron Immortal Pilot, the Doom Scythe, benefiting from their robotic nature, allows for greater speed and maneuverability. The Death Ray is the Doom Scythe's primary weapon and the secondary weapon is its twin link Tesla Destructors. And number 1. The Hemlock Wraith Fighter this is a controversial Craftwell Eldari fighter aircraft powered by psychic abilities. It combines the Spirit Seer's pilot's psychic powers with the energies of the Craftwell Eldari dead contained in the Spirit Stones. The spirits can operate the aircraft's basic functions if necessary, which is useful given the mental strain of sharing a shell with the dead. The Hemlock's presence is terrifying and it moves with grace and speed incomparable to any other aircraft. Capable of attacking any foe, be it human, demon or beast, its weapons are two heavy distortion sights and also a mind shock pod, which confuses enemy pilots and makes them essentially helpless and immobile. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe and most of all smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care boys.